Traders, it's Anthony here. We've got another video on our trade signals, trade alerts, pound Aussie. We've had three signals fire here. What I'm going to do with this video is show you how you can grow your account using these signals. We're going to look at the five minute chart, this opportunity, quick look at the strategy, and then we'll go out to a four hour chart and I'll give you my take on trading it on that higher time frame. So I think this is going to be an important video and I uh, would encourage you to definitely watch it through to the end so you don't miss anything. As you can see, we have these three signals. So you come in at the level of the signal. We can trade this directly on the five minute chart, one to one risk reward, close, and that's a winning trade. As simple as that. The main thing we're looking for is if we have the majority of these bars down here green with the green signal and we see these lines under here backing up our idea. Well, you wouldn't have had the lines, these uh, green lines under here, but uh, you've got them here and here. So definitely these two. In any case, if you see the majority of these bars down here, the same color as the signal, we can take the trade pretty much. So we buy we come in at the level of the signal we buy and i mean this could be worth whatever this is worth on your account depending on the size of your account and your position size now you might decide to come in with these one trade at a time at one percent of your your account at risk i would encourage you though if you're starting out with this to trade very very small lot sizes until you see consistent results and then ramp it up but I mean, just straight off this five minute chart, we could have taken these trades and made money. So that's that. So what I want to do now is take this out to a higher time frame and give you another perspective. So we can see by these bars down the bottom that the higher time frames are bullish. So what we'll do is we'll go out and let's just work off this signal here. Coming into the London Open, that'll kick off about 3 a.m. New York time. Now, I've got my chart set to New York. That's the uh, London Open, 3 a.m. New York time. And I'm looking for this to trade down into the London Open, and, and hopefully we get a, uh, this rotates here and trades north. In any case, here's the signal on, on the lower time frame. We can take that trade. We've already made money with that, but let's just now go out to higher time frame and consider some options. All right, on the daily, what we can see here, if we just have a look at this chart where these candles, how these candles are situated, there's definitely room for this to travel down further. We've got these highs over here. So you'll notice that a buy zone set up here with my stop loss under this daily level. So this is considering this opportunity from the higher time frame for our chart. All right, so I'm just looking at this gap here and these highs over here. This is definitely in a bullish trend, however, there's room for this to retrace further. So we'll go to uh, the four hour chart from here. Uh, in fact, what I can do is go down to this one. I've got the 4H. So this is the idea on the four hour. I posted this into uh, Telegram. We've got a green dot here on the five minute. That brings us into the chart. It, it gives us an opportunity. Look at all these opportunities here, guys, in the alerts log. If you haven't already, jump on board. The link is below, tradingwithanthony.com. Gain access. Join us on this journey. So here, what we have on the 4H, and, and I like to trade these four hour time frames. This is what I'm looking for on this time frame. I'll explain it. I'm always looking for movement back into the mean, this midline here, and we've got that. So that's an entry point for me. If we have a look at this, we'll stretch it out a little bit. Here's the mean. Look at these opportunities, rallies, retraces, rallies, retraces. So you don't want to be buying out here. I'm always looking for the opportunity in these, uh, when these retraces. This one was quite a shallow retrace, all right? Back into the mean, back into the mean. So we've got one deviation, two deviations out from the mean, all right? So it'll trade out and then it uh, always comes back into the mean. So we've got this really nice upward trend. We're trading above our cloud this here you can see the shaded zone. This is our cloud. So we've got this bullish trend. The stronger signals are going to be as we break out of the cloud. So we're trading in the cloud here. But when we break out of this cloud, bullish, this is generally going to be where I like to get involved more than anything early on in a trend on the four hour time. In any case, we've got this opportunity here. 
So as far as I'm concerned, the the odds are definitely in my favour. When we weigh up probability and possibility, I think the probability factor is fairly strong. There is a possibility that the stop gets taken out. That's realistic. So we need to plan our trade around that. But seriously, if we would have taken every one of these pullbacks, at least this one, this one, this one, and this one, when it's trading back into the mean, well, there's one, two, three, this four out of four. Well, let's just call it, well, yeah, four out of four, because we could have taken that, and that's TP1. Okay, so it's a high win rate, and definitely my preferred strategy. So what we can do with this, we can also incorporate, see these levels here, we've got these, this green level, for example, you can see this range through here. Well, we're looking for the pullback back down into that as well. This gives us a bit of extra guideline. So we want this, see this candle back here, this is the accumulation range. And we're, we're looking for the opportunity when it trades back into that. So if you want to look at it from the diag, uh, from a, uh, a, you know, levels on the chart perspective. Oh, well, here's another level here. It didn't trade into that. Here's another balance area here. Kind of traded back down, didn't quite touch it. But you can see the green shaded zone. And again, we've got this candle here. This is the accumulation for this move. And we're looking for possibility that that'll actually travel down into there. May or may not. I mean, it could roll over here and trade north. It could come back. So this is why I've got this buy zone set up. Going to go fairly deep with the stop loss. If it's a four hour time frame, I'm trading. And you can see these dotted lines are daily yellow. All right, so we've got a daily level there. I'm good to go slightly under that. We've also got an orange line here and a yellow line here. There's daily and weekly there as well. But I'm good to give this a bit of room to breathe because ultimately, if you get in here, I want to be exiting here. So, you know, do we get that opportunity? So I'm leaving room for the possibility that this continues. I'll take 70% off at TP1, most of my position, and leave a small position in and let it run. So that's the strategy, pretty much. Now you can incorporate with this the uh, hourly chart as well. We get these levels, we get everything, we get all the same stuff uh, on the hourly. But the main thing I'm looking for are these yellow dotted lines and the green and red shaded zones. Well, they're not just dotted lines. We're looking for there's hard lines and then we've got the dotted lines. So there's yellow daily we've got uh, orange is the weekly and white is the monthly so we really got to take notice of these levels now we've got a green dot here on the one hour as well i'll go with that all this is telling us is that this is overextended possibility that it trades further south for sure but the probability factor is fairly strong for this to continue bullish so guys i'll wrap it up i hope you have a great day safe trading click the links below see you in the next video